Hey everyone, we are on our first camping trip of 2022 and we were walking around in the woods and got covered with ticks and this led to uh, Rick locking the keys in the car and then an invention that he came up with. So check it out. There's always a story. Hi, I'm Rick. And I'm Sharon. And we are Cargo On. Cargo Conversion Building Camp. If you want to see some really cool cargo camper conversions, hear from the builders, see some tours, and see some places we've camped and some crazy adventures, then you are definitely on the right channel. Stop. It wasn't stuck to you. Are you serious? Okay. Let me say it. I threw it away already. You're lying. No, I'm not. I'm not. It was a, a deer pit. Or not a deer pit. A lemon star? Little, little tiny dog pit. Where did we saw it? You can't guarantee it. It's, we don't like, shower at night or check one another real quick. We'll end up with it. Don't move. Okay. So, good use of this tent. Okay. We um, are in here naked doing tick checks because there's ticks everywhere out here. I think I had seven on me. So um, we're getting ready to use the shower. So stay tuned. This was great. This is the first time we actually used the shower. It's an instant hot water heater and it was nice. So here's Rick by his van. So last night, remember we had ticks all over us. So we are in the in that thing, naked, doing tick checks, and we took off all our clothes and we put them in a bag. So his uh, keys were in his pockets of his jeans. And then last night, he went to lock the van. As soon as he did it, he's like, oh no. So he locked his van, the keys in the van. So it was dark and I said, okay, well, there's no sense of wait till the morning. So. I think it took him like one try and MacGyver here got the keys out. So I'm going to let him talk about this. So Rick. So anyway, I took a wood chisel. This window and the window on the opposite side are the only two on this van that actually open. And this door is the only door on this van, luckily, that has a button that has a recess in it that you can latch something onto. So I took a chisel, put it up here, and pried the glass out. And then I took one of our s'mores nice. skewers, and I bent it like this so that I could slide it in, rotate it, pull back, and hook on the button. Basically, hook on the button like this, and then I used a another piece of metal to Let's do a reenactment. To push up on it. And it was one try and you got it. And I got it. And it pulled right up. So let, show me the design again, MacGyver. That was pretty cool. Well, I didn't have the window open. I just had it pried out enough that I could slide this in behind it, turn it, hook on, and then push up on it. And that unlocked the door. So that's MacGyver. I wasn't even awake yet. And he came in all proud saying, I got my keys. <laughs> so our other option was to, uh, what? Call someone to come bring a spare set. And I don't think that would, went over well. <laughs> We're about 40 miles from home. Probably every bit of 30 anyway. So I don't think they would have wanted to do that. And then, or we could have broke a window or going forward, what are you going to do? Going forward? Yeah. I'm going to take, I have an extra set of keys. They were locked in the van, of course. I'm going to keep that extra set of keys in the toolbox on the trailer whenever we're camping. And what are you going to do with your MacGyver tool? Uh, this, I think I'm going to, just for safety's sake, I'll hang on to it. I'll keep it back in the trailer with the other sticks, but... All right, so what, you got to name it. Uh, I would call it my favorite hooker. O-M-G. <laughs> All right. 
Rick, my favorite hooker, are we gonna be marketing these or what? If we put a little furry handle on it, yeah, we probably could. A pink furry handle? Yeah. You're too funny. That's a wrap, everyone. You know what to do if you like this video. You all come back to me, yeah?